A warm welcome. You're watching NDTV 24/7. I'm Shanakshi Chakravarti. Let's bring you up to speed with all that's making headlines. Amid an uptick in the COVID cases in schools, the Drugs Controller General of India today gave emergency use authorization to Bharat Biotech's Covaxin for children between the age group of 6 to 12. Not just this, the DGCI has also granted emergency use authorization to Corbivax for children between the age of five to twelve years of age. The vaccine is currently being administered to those in the age group between twelve to fourteen. Further, Zydus Cadillac's vaccine, which is Zycov D, has also been approved for children above the age of twelve years for a two-dose regimen. Take a look. In a huge development, Bharat Biotech and Biological E have been granted restricted emergency use of Covaxin for children aged between 6 and 12, and Corbivax for those aged between 5 and 12 years. However, the National Technical Advisory Group on Immunisation has said they are yet to decide on the pricing of the vaccine and that the rollout of the vaccine could begin in a week. and this is the first time vaccines have been approved for this age group union minister mansukh mandavia also said the emergency use authorization has also been granted to cadilla for its zycov d with a two jab inoculation for those age above 12 years previously zycov d was administered in three doses J.T. Sri Kanta, who is a pediatrician in Karnataka and who was also heading the technical advisory committee that was formed to oversee the preparations for the pediatric population during the second wave of COVID, says it is a welcome move with the variant of Omicron becoming predominant. Only 175 children in each arm were vaccinated or taken for the study. So between 6 to 12 years. 2 to 6 years as well as 12 to 18 years only 175 children were taken for vaccination they were given vaccination at day 1 as well as day 28 and the zero positivity was looked at at 4 weeks later and they found a significant number of uh, children that is almost all the children had 1.7 times more antibodies compared to the adult population The authorization from the Drugs Controller General of India comes at a time when there are growing concerns of the fourth wave of COVID-19 across the country, and especially in Delhi, with a spike in children being infected with COVID, as the capital reported an increase of 156 percent of COVID cases as compared to last week. Most of the parents are reluctant. They are not coming forward to get their kids vaccinated. It has to be done because safety matters much, and it is a pandemic. We have to fight with it. With regular classes on, parents hope that they don't see cluster breakouts happening in institutions. As most institutes have decided to operate physically, coming session or not, but we as parents should keep ourselves informed. if all the kids in the school actually having the vaccination probably it will be we feel safe actually for our kids few concerns also are there because it's an emergency approval is there for the vaccination we don't know what is the trials the uh, uh, results are there uh, whether the trial results are available in the public domain or not in bengaluru with meher shrija for ndtv And after months of meetings and presentations and well speculations the big political story which now seems to have some concrete answers to political strategist Prashant Kishore has officially declined to join the Congress sources have said that the Congress divided internally on both getting Prashant Kishore on board and giving him a free hand Randeep Surjewala in fact confirmed in a tweet that Prashant Kishore was invited to join the party with a defined responsibility he declined Is the defined responsibility that led to the fallout? Prashant Kishore tweeted soon after to say that more than me, the party needs leadership and collective will to fix the deep-rooted structural problems. He has also then talked about transformation, uh, transformational reforms. So, what really happened? My colleague Nidhi Razdan has more. 
Both sides today announced in uh, some cryptic tweets that it was all over. Uh, Randeep Surjewala of the Congress was the first to do it. Uh, and, uh, you know, interestingly, he did talk about a defined role uh, for uh, Prashant Kishore and then Prashant Kishore tweeted uh, subsequently. But here are pretty much the five reasons why this has uh, happened. One is that Prashant Kishore, of course, wanted full control uh, of the Congress before 2024. Uh, but the Congress instead had just in, uh, offered him a seat on this empowered group that they had announced yesterday. And, you know, someone like Prashant Kishore, he's mercurial, he's volatile, he likes being directly in touch uh, with leaders like with the Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, when he was running his campaign on Nitish Kumar or Amrinder Singh in Punjab. So he doesn't like being part of a larger group where there might be checks and balances and he may have to take other people along. Uh, secondly, I think a lot of Congress leaders were also wary about handing the party over to a political strategist, someone who is not ideologically uh, in sync necessarily with the Congress. Uh, after all, Prashant Kishore has worked with a range of political parties, including the BJP and other political rivals. It also comes at a time when Rahul Gandhi is MIA. He's been abroad now for the last 10, 12 days uh, and, and been unreachable from what we hear. Uh, Priyanka Gandhi, though, was enthusiastic about PK's entry. Sonia Gandhi, however, was the one who had to take the final decision. Uh, and even though she was believed to be enthusiastic about it earlier, ended up uh, you know, cutting him down to size. Then there was also the issue of uh, Prashant Kishore's weekend meeting at uh, KCR's house in Hyderabad. Uh, the TRS is the Congress's rival in the state and that irked a big section of the leadership which again uh, sort of used it as another stick to beat Prashant Kishore with uh, in terms of the trust factor. News from Uttarakhand now. Section 144 has been imposed in Roorkee. No permission has been given for any kind of assembly. The Uttarakhand police has denied permission for a dharam sansad. Remember, a Hindu right-wing groups have been, had been called for a dharam sansad on Wednesday. The police has in fact cited the top court order which said on hate speeches, and I quote, why no deterrent by the state governments? The Himachal government and the Uttarakhand Uttarakhand government have been asked to file affidavits. Listen in to what the Haridwar SP told the media. पांच किलोमीटर का एरिया है गांव और उसके आसपास के गांव का जो पांच किलोमीटर का एरिया उसमें से चवालीस लगा दी गई है जिसमें किसी भी प्रकार के जमाओ की किसी भी प्रकार के असेंबली की अनुमति नहीं है और न किसी को इस प्रकार की अनुमति दी गई है अगर वहां पर कोई भी व्यक्ति इस प्रकार का आता है तो वो एक अवैधानिक गतिविधि में भाग ले रहा होगा इस प्रकार की गतिविधि को रोकने के लिए पर्याप्त संख्या में पुलिस बल लगाया गया है करीब वहां पर 200 से अधिक हमारे सिविल पुलिस के कांस्टेबल्स और हेड कांस्टेबल्स होंगे 100 के आसपास हमारे इंस्पेक्टर सह इंस्पेक्टर हैं वहां पे इसके अलावा हम पांच कंपनी पीएसी वहां पर और तैनात कर रहे हैं ताकि इस प्रकार की किसी भी गतिविधि को रोका जा सके the maximum all India power demand met or the highest supply in a day crossed the record level of 201 gigawatt mark showing spurt on Tuesday amid sweltering heat in large parts of the country. The Ministry of Power says government and various stakeholders making efforts on all fronts to meet the rising demand. But the intense heat even before peak summer has led to power shortages in many states across the country. 14 of the 36 states and union territories are facing an energy crisis. This includes the Kashmir Valley, where there are 15 to 18 hour long power outages. Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana are the worst hit states. Here's a report. Power cuts rising across India amid the intense, unprecedented heat. In Unnao, just 50 kilometers from Uttar Pradesh's capital Lucknow, 5 to 10 hour long power cuts mean losses for small businessmen like Subhash Chandra, who runs a paper binding unit. When light is not coming, there is also no work. This is why there is a lot of work. If there is no work in the car, then there will be a lot of work. It is manually done. It is a lot of work. 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 तो इस तरीके समस्याओं से हम लोग जूझ रहे हैं और ये अभी नहीं है तकरीबन 15-20 दिन से बहुत ज्यादा दिक्कत हो 500 किलोमीटर से वे इन दिस रूरल पार्ट ऑफ ईस्टर्न यूपीज गाजीपुर द सिचुएशन इज वर्स इस समय जो बिजली हम लोग के आ रही है तब तक चार से पांच घंटा रह रही है उससे ज्यादा बिजली नहीं आ रही और वो भी रुक रुक के आ रही है कभी आधा घंटा रह रही है कभी दस मिनट रह रही है कभी एक घंटा रह रही है ऐसे बिजली आ रही है हम लोग के पहले हम लोग को अठारह घंटा यहाँ पे बिजली चलाना होता है तो गर्मी के कारण सर हम लोग बिजली नहीं चला पा रहे हैं उत्तर प्रदेश न्यू पावर मिनिस्टर 
the ex pmo bureaucrat ak sharma has blamed the intense heat for the situation in rajasthan among the worst affected states small scale industrial units are badly hit by power supply that's interrupted time and again aaj ki tarikh mein udyog pehle hi corona 19 ke chakkar ke andar sankat ke andar hai अब बिजली कटिंग होने से और संकट हो जाएगी लेबर की बहुत बड़ी समस्या हमारे साथ पहले ही हो चुकी है अब ऑलरेडी चल रही है हमारे पास में अब गवर्नमेंट को इसका ध्यान देना चाहिए उद्योगों को विशेष रूप से कुछ न कुछ रियायत भी बिजली में करनी चाहिए बिजली पूरी उपलब्ध करवानी चाहिए इन श्रीनगर लोकल्स लाइक शॉप ओनर मेहराजुद्दीन से अ क्राइसिस लाइक दिस इज अनप्रेसिडेंटेड स्पेशली विद ईद जस्ट डेज अवे इतनी प्रॉब्लम होती है पावर की वजह से हमारा बिजनेस भी ठप हो गया हम दूध लाते हैं दूध खराब हो जाता है आइसक्रीम बाकी कोल्ड ड्रिंक सारा बिजनेस ठप हो गया है क्योंकि ये ज़्यादा पावर पर ही चलता है कभी दिन में पावर आता है तो फिर एक घंटा आता है उसके बाद पता ही नहीं चलता कब आएगा माह रमज़ान में हमारे इतना परेशानी हो गई शहरी में या अख्तियार में रहता ही नहीं पावर बट एज ऑन डेट सिंस पांडे Elon Musk has clinched a deal to buy Twitter for 44 billion dollars in a transaction that will shift control of the social media platform populated by millions of users and global leaders. The world's richest man has got what he wanted. Twitter For 44 billion dollars, almost a half of it raised against his own equity. Musk, who got rich inventing cutting-edge space and EV technologies, tweeted this, along with his plan to change Twitter. He considers Twitter the bedrock of a functioning democracy. Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. He's promised to make the algorithms open source to increase trust. defeat the spam bots and perhaps controversially authenticate all humans twitter will go from public owned to private by the end of the year as elon musk's plan to acquire twitter is approved by the twitter board still subject to regulatory approval musk believes that twitter should follow local laws what i can tell you as a general matter no matter who owns or runs uh twitter uh the president has long been concerned about the power of large social media platforms uh what they have that power they have over our everyday lives has long argued that tech platforms must be held accountable for the harms they cause india with 23.6 million has the third highest twitter base after us where the relatively small platform punches above its weight twitter has repeatedly gone against the government over censorship However, Musk's suggestion of adhering to local laws suggests that Twitter will follow the Indian government's policies despite the controversy over censorship and curbing of free speech. The Indian IT minister told NDTV and I quote that I wish Elon Musk the very best. Our goals and expectations of accountability, safety and trust of all intermediaries operating in India remains unchanged. Musk's acquisition of Twitter has happened in less than 3 months since he began buying its stock. Twitter founder Jack Dorsey tweeted his support for Musk saying in principle I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter solving the problem of it being a company however Elon is the single solution I trust Dorsey added that Twitter's dependence on the Wall Street and ad revenue was detrimental to the platform however Jeff Bezos Amazon founder and fellow multi-billionaire suggested that China might have gained leverage over Twitter The platform has been blocked in China since 2009 but China is the second largest market for Musk owned Tesla and one of the largest suppliers of batteries to the company. While the acquisition might have been agreed upon by all appearances it looks like the Musk Twitter controversy will continue to be in the spotlight for the future. Rubina Mongya NDTV. So it's a wrap from me on this bulletin but stay tuned to NDTV for all the latest.